willkommen. Das Maschine ist sehr wirksam und sehr schön. What I just said is welcome. This machine is very powerful and very beautiful. And you can see that through the camera with your own eyes. Uh, this machine is all about power, but it's also one of those head turners if you decided to take it to a sewing or a quilting class. And uh, the FOF engineering speaks for itself. Uh, they are made to last forever. And uh, you'll see that power demonstrated uh, when we do the various sew-offs. Well, let's go ahead and start on the bottom right-hand side of this machine. And obviously, this is a control right here to lower and to raise the feed dogs. With a simple turn, you can lower the feed dogs, and then turning again, you can get them to pop back up again. The benefit, obviously, of being able to lower the feed dogs is if you choose to do freehand embroidery or otherwise don't want those to be uh, making contact with the, with the fabric, particularly more delicate fabrics, it's a great convenience to be able to quickly bring them down and then simply bring them back up again to resume regular sewing. Off to the side here, you can see that we have a thread guide for bobbin winding. Coming off the top, we would feed the thread, come through this single guide, and then come all the way up here to where the bobbin winding tire is. You'd place your bobbin right here, and then simply engage this to the hand wheel. The beauty of this is once that bobbin fills, it will automatically push up on here and disengage it. If we lower down here, this is obviously a control center for stitch length, uh, and the range on this machine uh, is huge, anywhere from six stitches per inch all the way down to 30 stitches per inch. Unlike most of the Singer models that we've sold recently, you normally would go all the way to the top to sew in reverse, but not so with this FOF 130. You're going to bring it all the way down to sew in reverse. And then you can simply bring it back up into this range once you want to resume sewing forward again. Let me show you an example of a beautiful applique that we sewed on this FOF 130. You're going to see a couple of things. As we go towards the center of the applique, you're going to see that we get pretty close to that 30 stitches per inch. Uh, really a neat accent to demonstrate uh, not only the, the, the beauty and, and the output of what this machine can do from a creative standpoint, but look at the turning that this machine is able to do. Huge amount of control over the foot pedal and uh, just a lot of fun to sew it. And as you move to the outer edges, the framing around the applique, uh, just to the right of this very cute little penguin, you can see that we get pretty close to that six to seven stitches per inch on the framing of this applique. But the final result is just a beautiful representation of the creative side of this FOF 130 and also the control that you can exercise even with a machine that has a huge amount of power with a 1.0 amp uh, original FOF motor that drives that needle through the heaviest of fabrics as you'll see in the other sew-offs. We're also going to be including um, uh, an original uh, manual for this 130-6. As you can see this is a reprint. We've had it professionally bound. Uh, this really will serve two purposes, this manual. Number one, it's going to help you to maximize this machine. This machine is a lot more than a straight stitch machine, as you'll see uh, as I turn to a couple of the pages in the book. It's got a lot of versatility. It even has the capacity to do curve sewing uh, as, as you move a control that I'll show you as we go through the machine through the rest of this introduction. Uh, but it's also going to help you to maintain this machine. So the, the manual serves the purpose of maximizing and also maintaining. Now when you get this 130-6, don't worry about doing anything in the way of maintenance. We on average, as we oftentimes share, are very proud of the fact that we spend on average six to eight hours on every single machine that we list on eBay. That means that we clean them inside and out, we condition them, we time them, we do everything to get that machine at the most optimal running level possible. I like to say that we really treat them as if we want to take them through a restorative process, getting them as close to factory new as we possibly can. And another thing about 
as I shared, is the very, very uh, versatile nature of this 130-6. Not only can you sew on buttons, but as I page through this a little bit, you'll get an idea of some of the other creative attachments, uh, many of which we'll be including, uh, and also the versatility of this 130 as well. I'm going to get to some of the ornamental type sewing. Check that out. And again, because of the fine adjustments you can execute on this machine, these are some of the outputs that you could possibly do uh, with this machine. Here's a couple more examples, and these are just a very small example of the creative and the decorative side of what this 130-6 is able to do. And some of the creative projects also uh, beyond applique as we just demonstrated in showing you the sample that we did on this machine, there's just unlimited options of what you can do with this amazing German engineered machine. Let's go ahead and go back to the machine again and we're going to kind of go up towards the top. You can see on top we have two spool pins. This is going to be the spool pin that you typically will use as a feed when you're winding that bobbin. But you can just as easily use this as a source to do dual needle sewing. As I oftentimes say, even on machines that we sell that have a single spool pin on top, the needle technology has come so far where with over under needles, uh, with uh, oversized eyes on needles, you can do dual, dual needle sewing even on machines that are not traditionally made to do it. But this one is already set up to do it so if that's something that's of interest to you, this machine is able to get that done very easily. If we drop straight down here in front, I'm going to show you a couple things. This is a control center that does a variety of things. Obviously it's going to control stitch width. By turning this dial either left or right, you can uh, uh, adjust it to do a zigzag that uh, is significantly wider or much more narrow if you're doing ornamental type sewing. This is also a nice feature, uh, a lock feature on here that will allow you to set that stitch width and then by turning this forward you can lock that stitch width into place. You've also got this control right here that allows you to very easily change the position of that needle either far left, far right, or center where you'll most likely be using it uh, the majority of the time. This also will allow you to actually shift that needle position uh, up and down using this control which will move that needle left and right to execute that curving type sewing that I talked about uh, earlier in the video. In other words, you're able to actually generate curved lines that vary from side to side and just create a real neat uh, output on stitch pattern using this single control right here. And uh, as you exercise uh, this control more and more, you'll get more and, comfort, more and more comfortable with uh, getting those different stitch outputs and those stitch variations. Alright, let's go back up to the top of the machine. You can see here is our main feed for thread. Fairly easy to thread. Uh, coming off of here, you're going to come through this guide right here over the top, down through the tension control area, all the way up to the arm, and then all the way down to that presser foot. And you can see by my finger being underneath, we've got a huge amount of clearance underneath that presser foot. And we even have a very modest hyperextension that will give you a slight bit more clearance uh, if you need it. Uh, and uh, the clearance, again, I think on the FOF machines in general is really the best uh, that I've seen out of any of the machines, including the Singer models. Also, I, I won't bring a great deal of attention to it because you'll see it in the photos, but it also has a very beautiful uh, faceplate on it again. Again, a machine that if you take it to a quilting or a sewing class, you'll probably have a large crowd uh, gathering around you to get a close look at this beautiful uh, German engineered machine. Now, if this isn't enough to get you excited about bidding on it, and I know that we've had a little bit of a lapse since we sold our last FOF 230 and we've gotten a lot of emails, a lot of contact from buyers and repeat buyers about when are you listing your next one? Well here's your chance and after this one we'll probably be listing another one. But if this isn't enough to get you excited, we're going to be adding a yummy uh, bonus 
to this one as we had to the previous 230 as well. What a great way to take a break from a long sewing project by enjoying some genuine imported German chocolate. We've got these wonderful chocolate crisp bars and this is a heavy package. There's a lot in there for you to share uh, or to keep to yourself and also this Schugatten type uh, chocolate bar as well also imported from Germany. So these are just a yummy fun uh, bonus that we're going to be throwing in to go with this machine. Make sure you check out our, our, our other videos as well where we'll be demonstrating the heavy duty industrial strength side of this gorgeous FOF 130-6.